Okay, uh, we're going to be looking at the third aspect of, I think the fourth aspect of this topic called weather, climate and ecosystem. So um, in the first aspect, we looked at um, weather instrument. Uh, we also went forward to look at the factors affecting weather and climate. So here in the IGCSE syllabus, you need to be conversant with equatorial and the hot desert climate. So in this lesson, what we'll be looking at is the characteristics and features of equatorial and hot desert climate. So quickly, so there are certain keywords you need to know uh, in their individual meanings. Uh, we look at what the word Donal means. So the Donal here, it's actually uh, the difference between the hottest and uh, the coolest temperature in the day. So when you look at the difference between the maximum, the maximum and minimum temperature within a day, sorry, uh, is actually what the Duna temperature is all about. Then insulation, I think we, we made some explanation about what that means in uh, the chapter two concept uh, content. Uh, but here, let me just say insulation usually is the amount of solar radiation reaching the earth surface and rain shadow, which is usually found within the leeward side of a mountain, is an area that have low rainfall and air is not rising. Okay, so here we're looking at equatorial and hot desert. So uh, this image is just for you to understand or have a picture of how the desert ecosystem or environment looks like and what an equatorial environment looks like. So um, from here, you can tell that this area should have high rainfall, why this area should have low rainfall. So things like that. So that's what we're looking at now. So quickly, um, if you remember when we explain factors affecting climate, um, so these are the factors. Now, how does these individual factors lead to the formation of um, hot desert environment and an equatorial rainforest environment? So first, when we look at the pressure system, now within hot desert region, uh, you find out that hot desert are found within high pressure belt and within high pressure belt, sinking air, so the air is coming downward, it's not rising. So as a result of the air moving downward, not rising, you find out that there will be no cloud formation. Uh, this will now lead to low rainfall. Why in an equatorial rainforest climate, uh, the opposite is the case. So there is low pressure belt. So air is rising. So cloud will form um, because the air will definitely condense. And this will now lead to high amount of rainfall within um, these areas. Now, so we also have prevailing wind. So the wind uh, within this uh, hot desert climate blow across land is dry uh, because of low moisture. Why equatorial climate, the wind is across the ocean. So it has high moisture, which lead to high rainfall. Now, ocean current. Within hot desert region, you have cold current, which will lead to cold temperature. Therefore, there is less evaporation. Uh, 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 and therefore less moisture, which will lead to low rainfall. Why in equatorial climate, you have warm currents, which lead to high temperature, more evaporation. So um, obviously it will lead to high rainfall. The altitude, which is the distance uh, above sea level as you're moving upward. So remember when we looked at um, formation of clouds, I made mention of um, leeward and windward and leeward side. So the windward side, of uh, a mountain or a high region, you usually find an uh, equatorial rainforest there. Why? Because within the windward side, the air will rise, it will condense, leading to high rainfall. But the leeward side, uh, the air will do what? The air is going to sink, it descends, and therefore it will lead to less moisture, which will eventually lead to low rainfall uh, due to lack of condensation in that area. Then lastly, latitude. Latitude is uh, usually the distance away from the sun. So you find out that, that uh, it is close to the Tropic of Capricorn. That's a desert environment. And because of that, you find out that, that there is a high angle of uh, the sun uh, as it reaches that area. So obviously, this area have high insulation. They have high pressure. Uh, so sinking air and low rainfall. But around the equator, the equator have low pressure, air rises. 
a high temperature and there is high level of insulation at the equator because the sun is directly overhead and it concentrates on a low uh, small area now that is just the general features every other stuff is just a combination of those individual characteristics so moving forward let's look at the equatorial climate uh, uh, distribution so here we have areas where you can easily find the equatorial climate so first you find out that it is found between from this point to this point here which is like between uh, the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn along the equatorial line yeah you you find that so this area is around zero degrees um uh, the equator is around zero degrees Why? this is 23 and a half degrees and 23 and a half degrees so you find out that this is around within zero to 20 degrees north and south of the equator so you find out that it's around the line of the equator so this area have low pressure so this area have low pressure this area have high insulation so as a result air rises in this area which condenses and lead to high rainfall here so uh, that that's why you have an equatorial climate within this region now um equatorial climate characteristics i've explained it in terms of location is within low latitude um low latitude zero to i, I gave you approximately 20 degrees celsius now within the tropics which is 23 and a half degrees north and south of the equator so uh, you find out that you have the amazon in south of uh, south america the new guinea southeast asia and the zaire basin so they are all found within this region so this side you have the amazon here you have the zaire basin here and the rest okay now annual precipitation that precipitation here looks like um, the rainfall the snow and the rest they combine all of them is is what precipitation is all about now i annual precipitation is usually above um, 2000 uh, millimeters so there is high rate of rainfall and rainfall fall through all the year then the temperature now it has a low temperature range um a low range of mean monthly temperature within 20 to 28 degrees celsius now it has constant high temperature and the diurnal range of temperature is seven degrees celsius that is the difference between the highest and lowest temperature within a day okay so seasons uh within this area there is no seasons uh so it is hot and wet all through the year then the humidity which is the amount of water in the atmosphere is humidity the amount of water so because there is high rainfall there and high rate of evaporation because of high temperature obviously you expect that the amount of water within the atmosphere too is very high within 75 to 80 percent humidity then prevailing wind wind blow into the equatorial region from high pressure areas in the north and south so the wind from the north blow from the northeast and the wind from the south blow from the southeast and uh, the wind is also called trade winds you you had to get questions on this though now looking at um the climatic graph of equatorial rainforest if, if you look at this graph uh, here precipitation here temperature you can see that the rainfall is uh, within march which have the highest rainfall is around 350 uh, okay like 325 um, millimeters and the highest temperature should be somewhere here which is above 25 uh, uh, so this should be around 27 or 28 degree celsius now so you can see here also that there is rainfall throughout the year and the temperature is quite high throughout the year so you can tell that now so what are the factors influencing the equatorial climate so simple all the factors i just explained earlier on uh, affecting weather and climate that is what you just need to bring here so you find out that the sun is directly overhead at the equator and meaning they have high insulation now it is a low pressure all year so leading to rising air condensation cloud formation and high precipitation level they have a dense vegetation cover so because there's high dense vegetation cover you expect that there'll be high rate of water loss through transpiration another reason is that uh this area has is is warm so the warm air within this area store large amount of water vapor uh until the temperature start to cool late in the afternoon which then lead to heavy daily conventional rainfall if you don't know what conventional rainfall is please watch the lesson three on this topic now what are the reasons why there is high rainfall in 
So conventional rainfall, that is what ha happens majorly within equatorial climate is because um, high temperature also heating and because there's high temperature, there is high evaporation and water, there is high vegetation. So water is lost also through transpiration, which is conversion of loss of water from plant. And you also have rising air because it's a low pressure belt. So the air cool as it moves up because of altitude. Then it condenses and it falls down as rain. So that's that's just the reason why there's high rainfall. Now, reasons of why there is high temperature is because it is close to the equator, obviously, and at the equator, the sun is directly overhead. So the concentration of the sun is over a small area. Please watch the video on factors affecting climate. It, it I, I I did a series of description on that, and it has high rate of insulation there. So that's why there is high temperature so now let's move to the hot desert climate quickly now hot desert climatic characteristics so hot desert climate distribution uh so they are usually found within high pressure belt uh north and south of the equator um so quickly uh, the characteristics is that location is found within 15 to 30 degrees uh north and south of the equator so usually within the tropical and subtropical regions so you find it within North Africa, with, which forms the Sahara Desert. You find it within Southern Africa, the Kalahari and Namib Desert. And major part of Australia and Middle East are covered by desert. So you can see the Australian Desert here, the Kalahari Desert in Southern Africa, the Sahara Desert in Northern Africa. So you just use relative description also, very important. Now, the amount of rainfall is less than 250 millimeters. Remember that of... Um, Equatorial climate is above 2,000 millimeters. So, obviously, it has low rainfall. Now, temperature range, the daytime temperature can reach 50 degrees Celsius, but um, the average range is around 25 degrees Celsius because it experiences high temperature during the day and a very low temperature at night. Now, the nighttime temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, the diurnal range can be up to 45 degrees. So, if the highest is like 50 and the lowest is like 5, so the difference five degrees celsius the difference would be around 45 so you see because the temperature is very low at night that is why it has a high donor range temperature then the annual range is around 15 degrees celsius so season uh remember in the equatorial climate there is no season uh, it's hot and wet throughout the year but however in the desert environment there is the summer and winter season then the humidity it has low humidity which is within 10 to 30 percent but in equatorial climate is up to 80 percent 75 to 80 percent uh humidity then prevailing wind the wind is offshore that means it blows across the land not across the ocean it's not maritime wind so as a result it does not have high moisture in it so it cannot lead to high rainfall now if you look at the graph you can see the difference now you see that the rainfall is not all through the year there are months without rainfall and that give rise to the summer and um, winter seasons now you find out that the maximum rainfall which the year with the highest month with highest rainfall here is november and it's just little above um this is 25 uh just around 26 um millimeters based on this graph so um the highest temperature here you see this point is around um 30 uh, to there about degree celsius so it's quite really high so that's it now factors influencing hot desert climate simple is just the opposite of what affect equatorial climate so you have things like high pressure so it's high pressure so because it's high pressure it means the air is not rising air will be descending and uh, uh, so warming so precipitation does not occur uh, because of air is not rising then you have things like prevailing wind uh, it's usually over land not over sea so it's dry without moisture so <laughs> it won't lead to any form of rainfall so some days that are found within rain shadow areas that have low rainfall that is usually found within the leeward side of a mountain so check i think i did a video on how um rainforest can be found on the windward side and a hot desert climate can be found on the leeward side then ocean current sorry mm, cold current usually it's, an, it's a region of cold current on the west side of the continent uh, may reduce summer temperature due to cooling effect of the ocean so you have um lack of cloud cover and little evaporation and transpiration because even the amount of plants that are found within desert environment is low now reasons for low rainfall 
just the same thing, opposite of what we've looked at. So long way from source of moisture, so it is away from the sea, so less water has been evaporated. Um, prevailing wind blows over large area of land. Now wind are dry when they reach the desert, so rainfall below before the wind reaches the desert, so there is descending air, um, so there is lack of moisture, and there may be in areas of rain shadow. So reason for high temperature is that air pass over land which lack moisture so it makes the place hot and so the air is also descending so there's no moisture in it. Now low latitude uh, so therefore high insulation and lack of cloud which allow high insulation during the day because there's no cloud so there's no form of absorption or reflection of um, solar uh, radiation electromagnetic wave so it reaches the earth's surface directly uh, so there is high daytime but cold night temperature now lack of cloud which allow heat to escape at night that's it about this um, features or characteristics uh, and distribution of equatorial and hot desert climate. So I think the last part of this um, lesson we're going to do, we're going to look at vegetation and also uh, deforestation. So thank you.